Can Joe Biden recover from last night's fumble? I don't know, but I know that the Democratic Party is going to have to sit down and really think about their plan of attack for the next debate because you can't have a repeat of last night. Now, there's been a lot of talk about what happened, and I don't think it's actually accurate, but I do think that Trump won a resounding victory. And when it comes to what it means for the election, I think that it's probably a little bit less impactful than people suggest. However, it did matter. Keep in mind, most people at this point have already decided on who they're going to vote for. And last night doesn't really change most of those people. But there are a few people who are still undecided. And if the debates have any impact at all, then I don't see how they're walking out of last night's debate not leaning towards Trump, if not being completely convinced. Think of it this way. You had basically three segments. Segment one, commercial break. Segment two, commercial break. Segment three, commercial break. Segment one, Biden got slaughtered. Most notably, he had that mental gaffe where he just kind of paused, seemed to be lost, seemed to be confused. Segments two and three, he did better, but he made a very bad first impression. And so the general theme that you're hearing is that Biden did a horrible job. I actually don't think he was terrible in segments two and three, but he was not as good as Trump. You could look at it this way. Biden was kind of doing about a B minus in segments two and three. Trump was doing A plus. So it wasn't that Biden was doing terribly. It's just that he was being outshined. One of the biggest problems that seems to have happened is that Biden spent too much time prepping. What I saw last night was Biden trying to juggle too many different numbers in his head. He was constantly quoting facts and figures, different statistics, things that people don't really care about because we're not going to remember those at the end of the day. Are you going to fix a problem? Yes or no? Give me a yes. Don't give me 15 data points that help me understand why I should believe you. Trump's answers were pretty simple. I'm going to fix it. I've got a track record of fixing it. Joe broke it and he hasn't shown any way to fix it. So why would you believe him? Very easy to follow him. Not so easy to follow Biden. And the crazy part about this is that I thought the roles would be reversed. Think of this as a boxing match. There are two types of fighters, basically. You got boxers who are real pretty. They know how to throw those jabs and hooks. They score a lot of points. And then you've got brawlers who just go in there to knock you out. I thought that Joe was going to be the boxer and that Trump was going to be the brawler. Trump was relaxed. Trump wasn't trying to turn this into a knockdown, drag out fight. Trump just hit him with point after point after point. Joe was the one who seemed unhinged. At one point, Trump actually said to him, hey, let's not bicker like children. That was a very telling moment because strategically it told me that Biden wasn't prepared for last night at all. I hope that for the next debate, things are more interesting, um, that there's a better battle. Last night wasn't a battle. That was just a one-sided onslaught. One guy wailing away and the other guy stuck in a defensive mode, not even able to counterpunch. Bit of advice for Biden, simplify your answers. Get away from all the numbers. It was clear that you were overwhelmed, that you were getting confused, created a bad look. I don't think that that was age. I think that that was just too many numbers in his head and Trump not coming out with the style of response that Biden was looking for and Biden not knowing what to do. The other point is, Biden is going to have to figure out how to handle Trump and the way Trump answers questions. Trump handled himself masterfully. Ask him a question he doesn't want to answer, he just pivots to something that he does. Nobody's holding his feet to the fire. Kudos to CNN. They didn't interrupt. They would come back and re-challenge a couple of questions, but fundamentally they let those two decide the tempo and the content for the debate. That's on Biden. If Biden can't hold Trump's feet to the fire, he deserves to lose. So the second round will be interesting, but let's face it. I'm not expecting Biden to really be able to step up to the plate given what we saw last night.